as a result of lip syncing and the introduction to more dance-focused content, like relay dance and TikTok challenges. There has been a stricter judgment of stage presence than before. Here are some idols that have been labeled lazy dancers for even the smallest mistakes. <laughs> Red Velvet's Yeri. Red Velvet's choreography frequently requires a lot of energy, and in the past, netizens noted that Yeri found it challenging to keep up. Netizens compared her skills and flexibility with Sulgi, who's the main dancer, and how her dance move is often delayed or faster than the other members. One mistake by one member can throw the entire group out of sync. However, Red Velvet as a whole have been called out for their lack of synchronization. A post discussing their lack of synchronization gained attention. Most comments pointed out how all the members except Sulgi were having a hard time with the choreography during their bad boy promotions. During Queendom era, Yeri's progress didn't go unnoticed as many praised her for her improvement. Her stage showed a more confident and brighter image that really enhances her stage presence. Irene's dance skills have also been questioned, a post attached with Irene's fan cam titled, Is Irene a Bad Dancer? attracted the attention of netizens who actually defended her, commenting that Irene dances normally and her moves are clean, rather the choreography wasn't the best for her. This has happened before where Irene was given an awkward choreography during one of these nights, it looked both stiff and out of place. We also can't talk about Irene's dance skills without bringing up this incredible choreography, the late Sully. In 2013 Sully was accused of allegedly having poor stage manners during FX's <laughs> performance. The members lay down on their stomachs however Sully was seen crouching down while holding down her skirt instead. This was one mistake in the whole performance, but at the time most netizens decided to hate on her. While some questioned if she was on her period, or maybe she just simply forgot the move. However SM Entertainment spoke up in her defense, saying, it appears that Sully failed to follow the choreography because she was not feeling well at the time. In 2014 Sully was criticized for her lack of effort compared to Luna. Keep in mind this was based on a second long gif. This caused a debate whether Sully was just a bad dancer or was she slacking off. During this time, the hate had increased a lot and so did the pressures of being an idol. In 2015, she left the group and revealed that she was under so much pressure that she often felt scared. I did what someone told me to do without knowing the reason. Blackpink's Jenny. Lazy dancing, a term in K-pop that started with Blackpink's Jenny. In 2018 someone uploaded a video showing Jenny's supposed change in attitude on stage, this video went viral and the term lazy dancing quickly spread. Some netizens jumped to conclusion and used this as an excuse to throw harsh criticism while others defended her and wondered if there was a reason. During this time, Jenny had sustained injury on her ankle, with on and off pain for a while. Jenny has also been vocal about her lack of stamina compared to the average person. These lazy dance accusations have followed her since 2018 and she's seen through a microscope ever since. Her every move and expression has been brought up and nitpicked. In 2022, Blackpink appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live to perform Shutdown and Jenny's performance received backlash for skipping certain moves. The pan post that brought this up also wrote, this is their first comeback in two years after their last comeback and Jenny is still like that. Many were quick to defend her because the performance was live and Jenny was focusing on her rap rather than lip syncing. The group as a whole was criticized soon after for their lack of effort during their Born Pink concert. A few short clips from the concert went viral showing Blackpink to be uncoordinated. Synchronization is important to create a satisfying performance but that hasn't always been Blackpink's main focus. Many considered the concert to be a mess. Some complained that they had two years to prepare so the video gave the impression that they were no longer passionate about being idols. It's hard to judge a two-hour show based on two-second clips, with that said Jenny's name keeps appearing every now and then. Her Instagram is flooded with negative comments regarding her lack of energy during some concerts. The most discussed was her alleged attitude during the Hong Kong concert. Her quality of performance seems to be inconsistent that many no longer buy into the excuses such as she's sick, 
she's hurt or she's on her period etc but rather think she's lost passion we all know that jenny can perform and we all know she has amazing stage presence but the inconsistency without any explanation allows the haters to bash her as much as they can even calling her lazy for losing her balance which is out of her control itsy's leah itsy is known for their incredible dance skills however itsy's leah has had several lazy dance controversies her common complaints are that her moves are lackluster in comparison to the other members. In Itsy's relay dance video to Dala Dala, netizens couldn't help but notice how Leah never gives her all when she dances. Compared to the other members she was nowhere near as energetic. The criticism continued into 2020 when Itsy were promoting Wannabe, which showcases one of the most iconic dance moves. Unfortunately netizens were not impressed with Leah's efforts during Idol Radio. Netizens commented that her dance was half-hearted during the iconic shoulder move. She was also seen slipping up the arm details, some netizens pointed out how she messed up the same moves during the dance practice, which means she's having difficulty with that certain move while also keeping up with the members. This is not the same as being called lazy, which is a term that is constantly applied to any idol who simply needs more practice. It's nice when idols take constructive criticism and practice more. Leah was praised for her clean dance moves along with the other members during sneakers. Espa's Giselle. Giselle is a member who is frequently scrutinized, whether for her appearance, her body, or whether she even deserves to be an Espa. In between finding reasons to hate her, netizens noticed that she makes a lot of mistakes while dancing and often appears out of place. The most noticeable one is during girls' performance she received the lazy comments for not having sharp moves in comparison to the other members. Many defended her because the fan cam that caused this controversy wasn't the original take, while others argued that it wasn't the only time she's shown a lackluster performance. In a midst of all the criticism towards Giselle's lack of dance skills, some netizens pointed out how all the members look out of sync. Thankfully, Giselle's visuals and even her improved dance skills are receiving more positive comments these days. Espa's Winter Espa's Winter garnered mixed response for her lazy dance allegations. In May 2022, Espa performed at a university festival. Winter received backlash because she was the only member who did not whip her hair. Many came to her defense and noted that she was unable to whip her hair due to her pigtails, and when she did whip her hair, she was criticized but this time for not giving the same strength as the other members. In this case netizens are just nitpicking because once again if you see her hairstyle she has a bow in her hair, which happens to be the side that she avoided shaking. Here's the same move when she doesn't have styled hair. The lazy dancing accusations didn't stop, many criticized Winter for dancing half-heartedly during Got The Beat promotions. Ives Won Young Another idol accused of lazy dancing for not flipping her hair is Ives Won Young. During their promotion for Eleven at Music Bank, many were disappointed with Won Young for skipping the movement where she's required to flip her hair. Many jumped to conclusion and labeled her lazy dancer who caught the celebrity disease, however that's far from the truth. She was performing at Music Bank where she also is the MC so it's not a reach to assume she wanted to keep her hair intact. Not long after, Won Young beat the lazy dance allegations when she flipped her hair with full energy. However at the 2022 Coyote Chukche netizens once again debated whether Won Young was being lazy and not giving her best performance or if she was concerned that her hair would become disheveled since she was the main MC. Won Young not turning her head must have angered one netizen because they claim the show was pre-recorded and compiled all the time Won Young didn't turn her head while bashing Won Young for not doing her job. Everyone knows Won Young is good at her job, her many jobs for a matter of fact, however something isn't right. Won Young is only avoiding turning her head hairstyled or not, so they must be a problem we aren't aware of, there's the possibility that she has health problems related to her neck, because it's not like she's slacking in any other parts of the performance. Jessica Jessica is another idol who was criticized for her lack of enthusiasm in her headbanging. She also got criticized a lot for making mistakes in the actual music videos. In Visual Dreams Galaxy Supernova Dancing Queen the boys. And I got a boy. Idols Shoha. Ever since debut, Shoha has faced criticism for her dance. 
she received the most backlash for her mistakes during the Mangnes stage at 2020 KBS Coyote Chukche, which was a collaboration between IZ1, Now Ives Won Young, All oh My Girls Irene, Itsy's Yuna and Idols Shoha. Netizens felt that her mistakes were too much of a distraction. She's seen looking around confused and trying to copy the other members' moves. During another part of the dance, she missed a step while the rest of the girls hopped with their legs together, Shoha was the only member seen with her legs apart. She also missed the corresponding arm move during this part of the choreography. Shoha went on V Live to address the situation, we had a few team idol schedules at the time. We could only practice together once, before we went straight to record for the broadcast. This seems reasonable since everyone learns and memorizes choreography at different speed and one practice isn't enough. It feels like ever since Tomboy, Idol are born again and more powerful than ever, including Shaha who gained so much praise for her improvement, netizens are impressed with her expression and her strength in delivery. Not only Tomboy but her nude fan cam is also deemed legendary.